Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Tomorrow is the feast day of St. Michael and the Archangels. BAM! As is pretty obvious, St. Michael's Media Online as Church Militant is named after the most powerful angel in the celestial realm. He is in fact the second most powerful creature in all of creation. Little background here. Back in the early, early days of this apostolate, a splendid, dedicated priest was visiting with me in the old studio and asked me why I chose St. Michael as St. Michael's media. I said, well, because he defeated Lucifer outside of time, and Our Lady defeated him in time. His response was something I have always remembered. He said, that's correct. Mary and Michael are his most despised enemies, and if you raise their two standards inside this camp, you will take incoming rounds like you cannot imagine. But you will have the Mother of God and the Prince of the Heavenly Hosts with you, and Lucifer will lose again. Little did I realize back then not only the full truth of that comment, but also the intensity of the battle that would be waged. Incoming rounds indeed. In fact, the very first video out of thousands and thousands that we have produced was the original episode of The One True Faith, St. Michael and the Angels. That was before a packed house on the feast of St. Michael of Gargano in our original studio about one mile away from this current one. You can watch that episode and thousands of others with a premium account. The sign-up link is, of course, included here with this video. So in that spirit, it's with great excitement that we're celebrating and promoting a brand new movie on St. Michael. The life of a Christian on earth is a struggle, a fight. We are threatened by various dangers. It was the evil that crushed me, which never allowed me to be truly free. St. Michael is the breath of the Holy Spirit who will defeat the Antichrist and all evil spirits. Well, after the Holy Trinity of Mary, St. Michael is the most powerful being of God. Tell everyone that I grant all graces, that I have great power as the one who stands before God. A happy nation in which St. Michael the Archangel is venerated. Here, one comes to seek answers to the question of the meaning of our life. It is worth knowing that on this path, we have a discreet companion. St. Michael, meet the angel. In select movie theaters only on September 29th. Discreet? I'm quite sure how discreet he is. Producer Osco Delgado has been in the media industry for a long time and he brings great experience and skill. I was a war producer for NBC News for 10 years. I went to the worst places in the world and um, that was my training ground basically. And uh, then I retired and started to do films. Uh, I did secular films and now I'm just doing faith-based films. But that's given me training. When you're going around the world and whether it be Iraq or Sarajevo and all those different places, you learn the, the darkness of humanity. And so the Lord trained me in a sense to looking at all the darkness and said, you know what? I want you to bring some remedy. This is a remedy. We're always talking about the darkness, lighting, but we need to light a candle. And invoking the holy angels is our way of lighting a candle and going forward and helping us in this battle that we're all engaged in. Job, Oscar. St. Michael's story, so to speak, is really tremendous when you consider one important yet seldom thought about aspect. It was Michael, a lowly little archangel near the bottom of the angelic choir, who first forged the path, blazed the trail in directly confronting, opposing, and defeating evil 
when Lucifer rebelled. There had been no example for him to follow because there had been no need since there had as yet been no rebellion of any kind against God, but he ripped out that sword and went right after Lucifer. It was his great love, meaning his adoration and his sacrifice for God, which emboldened him and inspired him to challenge the much higher angelic being Lucifer with his cry of disdain for that seraph, who is like God? Michael's name, while of course his name is also his battle cry against Lucifer and in devotion to Almighty God, both sides of the coin there. The buck sergeant rose up and crushed the general and did it with no other fuel in his tank than his devotion to God and with nothing to model himself after. A lot of us know that we're engaged in a, in a battle. We all know that it's, it's a battle where we live through every day. It's important that we remember to invoke the holy angels to help us in this battle. God gave us each one of us a guardian angel and has given us St. Michael as a warrior to help us. So we're not alone. A lot of people are very depressed. A lot of people are in despair, but we know who wins. We know at the end we win. We just don't know how much pain we got to go through, but there's, but there's a reason why God has assigned an angel to each of us and assigned St. Michael to each of us in a sense to help us. So that's what I would encourage people to do. If you go to stmichaelmovie.com, get your tickets and go to the theaters, you will be leave those theaters invigorated and ready to, to take on the world. Indeed. You know, lots of people don't realize that St. Michael is actually the angel of death, one of the offices. Matter of fact, on this sword, there are four different panels which describe the offices of St. Michael that the church ascribes to him. And one of them is the angel of death. It is St. Michael who will accompany our souls, every single one of us, to the judgment throne of Almighty God. It's one of the reasons we have his statue here on stage. Uh, also, as a matter of fact, we have the one-two punch. We have Satan's most hated enemy, and then right over there, his second most hated enemy. Now, because tomorrow is his feast day, producers made arrangements with movie theaters all around the country, and matter of fact, a number of them around the world, to give it a single day showing tomorrow, his feast day, on Thursday, September 29th. It's not available after that. So, if you want to watch the movie, the only way to watch it is on the 29th tomorrow. If at all possible, you should go see this. If you have to change your plans, and you can, who cares? Change them. Live a little. To find out what theater is playing at nearest you, just go to the website. We already had it up there. Put it up right now again. It's pretty simple to remember. StMichaelMovie.com. Right there. StMichaelMovie.com. All one word. StMichaelMovie.com. Bring a group with you as well. Being a Catholic filmmaker and, and um People know that. I mean, there's a lot of complaints like, why don't we have more stuff out there? Well, we're trying. We're trying, but we need your support to be able to do this. I mean, as you know, they ask, why is it one night only? Well, it's millions of dollars to try to do a whole full release. And so being able to partner up and doing these special releases um, helps everybody. And then it, it gathers momentum so we could do more. So again, Purgatory did very well. This we're hoping that also can do very, very well, but it's up to you guys so we can be able to do more of these type of films. And that's what we need to do. And it's only in theaters, it's only for one night, but you know, I picked the best night. So hopefully people will go out and support St. Michael and, and be able to learn more about them. Be sure and watch this guys, get out, just go, go to the movie. It's premature, but happy feast day, St. Michael. God love you, I'm Michael Voris.